Hello, and welcome to Legends Of. Today, we will be talking about the legend of Stingy Jack. Our legend begins long, long ago in a small Irish town. The devil himself had come to the small town looking for a soul to steal. That's when he overheard the townspeople talking about Jack. Jack was known for being cheap and had earned the nickname Stingy Jack. When the devil heard of Jack and his deeds, he decided he wanted Jack's soul for himself. The devil found Jack at a bar, and the two got a drink. Jack agreed to go with the devil, but first he wanted to pay for his drinks and convinced the devil to transform himself into a coin so Jack could pay. The devil was so pleased that he had won Jack's soul and had won it so easily so he transformed himself into the coin. But Stingy Jack was not a fool, and took the coin and put it in his pocket next to his silver cross. Then Jack walked out without paying. The devil begged and pleaded to Jack to let him go, and Jack agreed, as long as the devil agreed to not bother him for the next ten years. The devil agreed, and was freed. Ten years later, Satan returned to the small Irish town and found Jack stumbling home drunk from the pub. He was ready to collect the soul he felt he was owed. Jack knew the devil was there for his soul and agreed to go with him, but made one final request before he was to go to hell. Jack asked the devil to climb an apple tree so he could taste an apple one final time. The devil, taking pity on the drunk man, agreed. But once again, the devil didn't pair for Jack's cleverness. As the devil climbed the tree, Jack quickly carved a cross into it, preventing the devil from leaving the tree. Once again, the devil had to beg and plead to be released. And once again, Jack agreed, as long as the devil agreed to never take Jack's soul into hell. The devil agreed and was released. Jack never saw the devil again, that is, until years later when Jack died. Upon his arrival to the gates of hell, he was refused entry due to his way of life and his devious deeds, and he was sent down to hell. However, due to the promise that the devil had made to Jack, he could not take his soul and turned him away. He did, however, leave Jack with one final gift, a carved turnip filled with an ember of hellfire meant to light his way as he roamed the earth as a spirit for all time. Stingy Jack now became known as Jack of Lantern. It was said to protect your house from Jack and other evil spirits that you also must carve out a face illuminated with fire. Eventually, Jack of Lantern was shortened to Jack O Lantern, and the carved turnips turned to pumpkins. And still today, we carve faces into these pumpkins and illuminate them with the fire of a candle. And who knows, maybe this fun tradition of ours that has been going on for hundreds of hundreds of years is keeping us safe from Stingy Jack, from Jack of Lantern himself. Happy Halloween.